It's great to be with you again this morning. My name is Pastor Ronald Jordan, and I'm a member of Revival Time Assembly, a member church of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the West Indies. We need to understand that for us to go and grow from one level to another level to a higher level, we must have faith in God. And this is what Reverend Ricky McClatchy spoke about in our second night of our prayer conference. In Romans chapter 4, this is 18 to 22, it says, Who contrary to hope, in hope believed, so that he became the father of many nations, according to what was spoken. And this is talking about Abraham here in the Old Testament. So shall your descendants be. And not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body already dead, since he was about a hundred years old. And the deadness of Sarah's womb, he did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully convinced that what he had promised he was also able to perform and therefore it was accounted to him for righteousness this conveys to us concerning fixing our faith and this is what reverend Ricky McClatchy dealt with in the promises that God has for us in order for us to live in the fullness of God's glory we must do like Abraham, although the promised looked hopeless, Abraham believed in hope, which resulted in him putting his faith in what God said he would do. What seemingly looked like an impossible situation because of both Abraham and Sarah being old in age, and Sarah's womb was not able to conceive their promised son, became possible because of their faith in God. Faith in God causes us to walk in obedience to what he has spoken over our lives through his word. As the scripture says, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Abraham held on to what he believed God said to him. He didn't waver in his faith, despite the reality of his circumstance. If we want God's glory in his fullness, then we must wage the warfare of doubt and fear, because the just shall live by faith and not by sight. So again, I trust this principle that was released to us that we would be able to take it again, ponder on it, let it go deep in our spirit and our hearts that we will go by faith, we will live by faith, we will speak by faith and that we will be able to do the things that God wants us to do for us to experience the fullness of God's glory. Let us pray today. Father, we thank you that, oh God, as we look to you, we come to you, believing and trusting in you. As you said in your word, trust in the Lord with all of our hearts and not lean to our own understanding. But in all of our ways, we will acknowledge you and you will direct our path. So help us, Lord, to depend upon you and to have faith in you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So again, have a wonderful day. We'll be looking at the third night of our prayer conference tomorrow. Blessings. Bye.